coastal communities across the country, shellfish aquaculture is more than just a sustainable source of seafood and local jobs. These farms can provide environmental benefits too. Shellfish farms can contribute to good water quality, and aquaculture gear can provide habitat for wild fish. Scientists call these types of benefits ecosystem services. Here at the Northeast Fisheries Science Center's Milford Lab, we're researching ecosystem services provided by shellfish farms. Nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus are essential to all life. But when stormwater, fertilizers, and other sources of nutrients end up in coastal waters, algae and seaweed can grow out of control. This can cause environmental problems like low dissolved oxygen and algal blooms. Shellfish such as oysters and clams can help because they feed on microscopic algae in the water. This natural water filtration method is so effective that the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has recognized shellfish aquaculture as a best practice for reducing the amount of nutrients in coastal waters. We wanted to know the value of this ecosystem service to a coastal town. So we partnered with the Greenwich Shellfish Commission and local clam and oyster farmers to quantify nutrient removal by oyster and clam farms in Greenwich, Connecticut. Greenwich is a coastal town. Therefore, its life rotates around the water. When I first went there, you could not see the bottom. Now, you look straight down and the water is extremely clear and getting clearer. I worked with the Shellfish Commission 15 years and watched how we've improved the water quality, how we've increased our, our shellfish beds, and we do that by talking to the experts, such as NOAA, and getting their input as to what we should do. Having clean water in the cove, or in Greenwich waters, increases real estate values, allows people to swim, to enjoy the water sports, to get out in the boats. We found that local shellfish farms remove 31,000 pounds of nitrogen every year. Our economist partners calculated that it would cost between $2.8 and $5.8 million to get the same level of water quality using traditional engineered solutions to reduce runoff from farms and to manage stormwater. Our team is also studying how shellfish farms can provide habitat to ecologically and economically important wild fish. We've collected video on oyster farms and natural rock reefs in Long Island Sound that reveals diverse and abundant numbers of fish using both types of habitat. Fish are using oyster cages as shelter from predators, as a source of food, and as refuge from currents. We've documented fish courtship and reproductive activity, as well as schooling, territorial, and aggressive behavior on shellfish farms. So far, we've seen 21 different species of fish around oyster cages. Several commercially and recreationally important species, including black sea bass, scup, and tatog, were more numerous on farms than on natural habitat control sites. Aquaculture supports jobs and provides local, sustainable seafood to the community. Our research shows that native fish and shellfish benefit from the improved water quality, as well as the habitat provided by the cages themselves. And people benefit too.